This is a video um, for the C1 topic, which is in analytic geometry, and we're looking at equations and graphs, and we're talking about linearity, so linear and nonlinear things. All right, so let's do this. So when we look at graphs, it's kind of easy to see if something's linear or nonlinear. So remember, things that are linear increase at a constant rate, so they, they form a straight line. So we can tell right away that this guy is a linear relationship because it's a straight line. This one's going to be linear because it's a straight line. And also this one, it's a straight line. So all of these graphs are linear relationships. Whereas the next three graphs are what we would refer to as non-linear. Their rate of change is not constant. As you can see, if you were to find the rate of change down here, like rise over run, and then if you were to check like the rate of change somewhere else, like rise over run between, like maybe like it's, we would call it like an average rate of change, the rate of change is gonna be different every time we calculate it. So these are these do not have constant rates of change, nonlinear graphs. And you can see this graph here, it looks like it has a positive rate of change, then a zero, then a negative rate of change, then back up to a positive. So clearly it's not a constant rate of change. And you can easily tell that all three of these graphs are nonlinear because they don't form a straight line. So pretty easy to tell if something's linear or nonlinear. Okay, equations. Check out these equations. So on one side, I have got all of my linear equations, all of my linear relations. So these five equations are all linear. They all form straight lines. They're also what's called first degree equations. So if you look at the exponent on x, so look at x. If I were to give x an exponent, it would have an exponent 1. We don't write the exponent 1, but that's all it would have. So all of these, you can see the value of the exponent on x is all 1, right? But we just don't write it. So these are all linear equations. They're all linear relationships, all five of these. They're just in different formats. So this is like y equals something. This has all the stuff on the left side, and then it just has 0 on the right. This is like got x's and y's on one side and the number on the other side. And this guy has a fraction, but all of them have something in common. The degree on the x exponent is just a 1, the exponent on x. So they're all first degree equations. They all form linear relations. Okay, I'm being really repetitive. Just I'm trying to be clear. <laughs> okay, on my other side, the colorful side, these guys are all nonlinear. They all are different kinds of functions, different kinds of relationships. And they're things that you'll learn about in grades 10, 11, and 12. Mm, what color should I use? Purple? No, let me use pink. Okay, so check out this top one. Y equals 2x squared plus 5. So you can see on the x variable, there is an exponent of 2. So it's not a first degree. It would be a second degree. And it's going to make a special type of relationship actually called a quadratic relationship. So that you'll learn about these in grade 10. You don't need to know that now. You just need to know it's not a straight line, nonlinear. The next one actually has a square root symbol in it. It's a radical function. So that's nonlinear. It's going to form a graph that actually looks like this. The next one has 4 to the power of x minus 3. This one also is not going to form a straight line. It's got the x in the exponent, which is crazy. Now, the x doesn't have an exponent on itself, but the x is in the exponent position. So that means that it's nonlinear as well. It's actually an exponential relationship. So it increases at an increasing rate. Or, de yeah, in this case, increasing. Okay, then the next relationship, it's another quadratic because it has a squared on the x, just like the top one did. It's just in a different format, but still nonlinear. And then the final one has like x cubed, x squared, x. It's still degree three third degree because you always go with the highest exponent as the degree and it's a polynomial relationship it's a polynomial function and you'll learn about those in grade 12 they form these really cool like these kind of graphs so yeah so that's how you would tell the difference between the equation 
So these guys are all linear. Um, okay, so you could be asked questions like linear or nonlinear, and then they could give you, you know, tables of values, graphs, equations, and you would have to be able to say if it's linear or not linear. So how to do that? Okay, so let's start with the easy stuff, actually. So graphs, we can just look at them. I can tell right away that's nonlinear. Why? Because it's not a straight line. So that's nonlinear. Done. Let's look at the equations. They're pretty quick, too. So this guy has a radical sign, like a square root. So I know right away that's nonlinear. Can't be. It has a, rate, a, um, a square root over the x. So it's nonlinear. Now, just FYI, if you had like y equals x plus square root of 2, okay, well, that's like a super weird way to write that relationship, but that actually is linear because it's just got a plain old x. So if there's a square root of a number, you, I mean, I don't think you'll ever see that, but that's fine. It's still just a number. Okay, and then our final one here, C equals 15N minus 100. So we don't have X's and Y's. Instead, we have C's and N's. But you can see that there, there's no exponent on the N. There's just like an exponent of 1. So this guy would be linear. It's going to increase at 15 per whatever and it's got a y-intercept of negative 100. Okay, cool. Now the tricky ones, the tables of values. So one way we did it um, was to check the first differences. Now that could totally work if your x values are going up by a constant amount. So over here we see our x's are going up by 1. Cool. So we can check our first differences. All right, so from 15 to 30, it goes up 15. From 30 to 45, it goes up 15. So our first differences are the same. Therefore, it's linear. So we know this relationship is linear. Okay, what about the next one? So look at our x's. Like it goes up by um, 4, and then it goes up by 2, and then it goes up by 7. So first differences are not going to tell you too much information because our x's are not increasing at a constant rate. They're like all over the place. So our y values go from 7 to 19. So it looks like that's going up 12. Then they go from 19 to 25. So they're going up 6. Then they go from 25 to 46. So they're going up 35 or 21. <laughs> um, Okay, so you can't really use first differences to check if that's linear. So what I would do is I would just find the rate of change or the slope because I know all linear relations have a constant rate of change. So let's check the slope between two points. So I'm going to check the slope here. I'm going to check the slope between the first two points. So I notice from 7 to 19 it goes up 12. So that's my rise. The y values are your rise, so 12, over. The x values are your run, like the amount it goes over, and that would be 4. So my slope is 12 over 4, which is 3. So this has a slope of 3. Now let's check another part. I'm just going to use red this time. Okay, so I'm going to try the slope again, but I'm going to check two different points. So from 25 to 46... It goes up 21, and then from 8 to 15, it goes up 7. So 21 divided by 7 is 3. So I can see my rate of change is constant. And if I really wasn't sure, I could actually check the middle two as well if I wanted to. I'm just going to do it just to show you. So I would do rise over run. So from 19 to 25, it goes up 6. That's my rise. From 6 to 8, it goes up 2. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. So you can see the slope is 3 no matter what two points we pick in the table. So therefore, that relationship is linear. All right, so I hope that video helped explain linearity to you a little bit.